Hey guys, this is Carlos Garcia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, good week starting off the week on this Monday, June 28th. Um, I wanted today's lesson is going to be focused on the good fight versus the bad fight. And the reason I named it that because there are many times we have good fights and bad fights, but I was going to explain. So let's go on to this message, and hopefully y'all get something out of it. Today I am going to talk about the good fight and the bad fight. If you have been in church for any length of time, you have probably heard the story of Moses leading the Israelites out of Egypt. This is Exodus 1 through 15, half of the book. In the story, Moses listens to God to drive them out of the land. During that time, God hardens Pharaoh's heart. God brings plagues to the land and demonstrates his power as Pharaoh didn't want to let the Israelites go. God had to use force to get the people out. The movie Prince of Egypt, which by the way, is a good movie, tells the story pretty well. Although many of us heard or seen this story, I'm going to focus on one verse of the story. Today's reading comes from Exodus 14.14, 14, which says, The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent, uh, which that's a good verse, by the way. We are mainly focusing on the good and the bad fights. First, first of all, we'll start with the bad fights. My interpretation of a bad fight is like arguing the bad way. In other words, Fights that you get nowhere or end up in violence and it causes you to sin or something. Naturally, people are going to fight, but as long as it does not lead to a person becoming abusive, this fight can be a chain reaction for children. In other words, and if that is all the child knows, they can be, be abusive. I am not talking directly about abuse, but that is a sin. Alongside the bad fight, we have the good fights. So in other words, the bad fight, which I say can be abusive or violence or whatever, uh, is pretty much talking about it could be passed down generation to generation to generation. So let's go on the other hand. To me, a good fight is exactly what the verse says. So therefore, stuff gets accomplished. I am going to give you an example of my parents. A good fight that actually affected me, so they wouldn't mind me seeing. So this takes place a long time ago. My parents had to tell me this because I was way too young to remember, as it has to do with cerebral palsy. One story is, here's the story. I was given the privilege to go to Lavernia. The second story is, so I'm telling two little stories, but not full detail. So, my parents had to fight in order for that to happen. If they did. So the second story is our school had to get ramps, like ramps for walkers or wheelchairs. And the reason is uh, so I could, it would be easier for me to walk up and down the, um, the sidewalks and stuff. Um, it's because I had to say palsy. If they didn't, if they didn't fight, I would have had been at school in San Antonio for children with disabilities. This goes back 
to the first story because um, at first, um, since I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, they wanted me to go to school in San Antonio with people with disabilities, and I wouldn't have, wouldn't have the option to go to Lavernia. So here comes the second one. If they did not fight for ramps, it would have been hard on me to get my walker up and down and around the curves. This might sound silly, but it wasn't for them. I would I wouldn't have the same opportunities as the other kids. In Exodus fourteen fourteen, where God says only to be silent, to me it means to just state your words and try to push. Don't argue and just be silent. God will take care of it for you. If you do end up arguing, do it the proper way. So, if you don't understand what I was talking about there, the good fight versus the bad fight. The bad fight is where it could lead into violence and chaos and all that scams, violence, or whatever, and that could lead down the generation, generation, generation. But the good fight, like I was mentioning, two little scenarios, short scenarios, my parents had to argue to the school to get ramps at the school, and then my parents had to argue for me to go to La Vernia school because they wanted me to go to San Antonio, you know, for people with disabilities. But um, they had to push, my parents had to push, and they were able to get it because um, there was another boy with me who has spina bifida, and... Um, I just, he had to use the ramps too. But honestly, this sounds silly, but the ramps helped me out so much. And then going to school helped me out too because I had all the same opportunities as the other kids had. I mean, besides special ed. But at that time, um, and this relates to today, as in, if you're silent, fighting the good fight, as long as you state what you're going to fight about, do not argue. And if you do argue, make it a good argument, but not like get ugly and stuff. And since God is going to be on your side, if you pray about it, and if you be silent, it will work out at the end even if um, you don't think it will at first. So, and, like, I hope you all got something out from this message. This is Carlos Garcia again, and um, please hit the thumbs up because it helps YouTube's algorithm. And like this way, hit the thumbs up and subscribe because it also helps the channel. Thank you all for listening. Have a good Monday and the rest of the week. God bless you all.